Okay, nothing is gonna line up on this thing, but we'll make it work. Now, one problem I've run into, and it looks like it'll be okay on my motherboard, is the mock-up. I don't have my motherboard I'm gonna use yet, but the mock-up motherboard, the PCI Express card slot is the first slot. Now, I'll show you what happens. If I make that the first slot, it makes everything push down to where it puts the audio output, which that may not be the audio output on the motherboard I'm going to use, but something will be there, USB, audio out, something. Puts it right there in the middle of this brace. So, that poses a problem. But, I got to looking, got a picture of the motherboard that I'm going to use, and it turns out it's got one of the small PCI Express slots right here in the first slot. And then the second slot is the full size PCI Express slot for the video card. I have no plans of using the small slot, so we can then line everything up to where the second card slot lines up with the first hole. So when I do that, that puts it a lot better. I've already marked it. This is where I need to cut all along this line, up along here. And then it's going to come out right here at the edge. You can see the line I'm marked. Now this will be a different, you know, this is recessed in, well, out from the inside. But it should be fine. It just won't, you know, the, um, the panel will um, be fine. And then, for the bottom, I just have to cut all along here where it's recessed. And that'll make it line up right. So, it should work out pretty well. Now for the holes to mount the case, I mean mount the motherboard in the case, none of them lined up. So I went ahead and just knocked them all out. And then, like right here, I just broke them out of the case. Once I get the back cut out, I can then get it in there to where it will, um, you know, I can line everything up for the holes. And then I'll probably, some of them I'll screw in, some of them I will glue in. I've got some standoffs, some motherboard standoffs, like these that are a little bit longer. They're the perfect size. I left one of the old ones just so I know how deep this one's out of the way. That's the perfect height. And so I can screw some of these into the motherboard and then I probably won't. I may do all of them like this but I'll just drill a hole and uh, thread this into the case if for some reason it won't thread into the case I can always put a small nut on the back side but I think I won't have any problems as long as I get the right size hole getting this to thread into the this case now as far as the other ones I can take something like this go ahead and fasten it to the motherboard set the motherboard in place line it up with these which I already have threaded in and then maybe put a little bit of JB weld right there and then just set the motherboard where it goes and you'll say it and just line up to be right there and then just let it sit and let the JB Weld set up and then that'll hold those but I'll probably do most of them with these because these will line up perfect so not going to be easy as I thought but it is doable and it will make a nice case now for the front panel Here's the front panel board. Here's the power button. Here's the power light. Here's the reset. I think this is reset. 
got three buttons in the front. I'm only going to use two of them. Power and one of these two. One of these may be an eject now. I don't know what the other one is. It's got a reset. Maybe the other one's a sleep button or something. But I only need to use one. Now I'm not sure. I think that goes to the light. I'm not positive, but I may have to rewire some of this to make it work right. And then it's got a speaker right there. I'm just going to make that the um, PC speaker. It's got a gray wire and then this one right here. So I'll just change the end on this and make it the PC speaker. This is the plug that goes to the motherboard for here. What I'll probably do is uh, I may you know plug wire straight into there just completely uh, get rid of this ribbon cable and then we've got a fan right here we will change out this plug for a regular chassis fan plug so we can power that big case fan and then the power supply I haven't taken it out but it looks like it won't be a problem we've got plenty of room for the CD drive DVD drive and we're not going to be using anything here so it should work out pretty well should have plenty of room for the hard drive as long as I get 90 degree plugs for the power and for the SATA cable shouldn't be a problem and I think that's it for now I'm going to take this outside get the Dremel tool and cut out that so we can get the standoffs you know where they need to be for the motherboard once I get the yeah, I can't really tell where they need to be because when you try to line everything up you can't get it accurate enough because you can't get it recessed you know it bumps up against it so once we get that cut out we can get it in there and find out exactly where the motherboard standoffs need to be I know what the height needs to be on them so that's no problem just finding out exactly where they need to be and I've got it you know, lined it up good enough before I drew the line so that we would be able to tell where the slot lined up. So I stuck a PCI card in here, lined it up to where it was perfect, and then I marked where my, um, you know, put the, uh, put this on. line the PCI slot up where it needed to be and then I marked my panel like that it's pretty easy got the height where it should be by using that standoff even though it's it's gonna be off I'm gonna have to cut it off and put something else but that at least line you know gets the height right and then I put one right here took one of these since they sit flat and stuck it under here because that's the same height so that got it where it should be and then I just stuck a PCI card in to line it all up And with the other motherboard, you know, this would be the um, video card, but it's just an old network card. But that gets everything lined up just like it should be.